so today I'm going to be filming this look right here. Um, it's just kind of a warm, neutral, smoky eye almost. Um, it's just got a lot of warm tones, caramels, burnt oranges, and then peachy tones on the lips and the cheeks. Um, if you want to learn how I did this look, just keep watching. So first we're going to start off with a fresh and clean face. And using our Hangover RX for a primer, we're just going to apply that all over your face. Now I'm going to go in with Maybelline's Matte and Poreless Foundation and just apply that with a Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki Brush all over my face. Then using MAC's Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, I'm going to prime my eyelids. This is an important step for a night out or any special event because you want your eyeshadow to really stay in place. I just zoomed you guys in so you could see what I was doing. I'm going to use a fluffy brush and just go in with a neutral brown pinky shade and use that as a transition color. Now taking another blending brush, this one's from Sigma, I'm going to use this burnt orange color and apply this to the outer corner of my eye and a little bit up into the crease. You can apply this pretty messily because we're going to be covering the lid with a shimmery eyeshadow. Um, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but just kind of get it in there to add some dimension. And I just turned the brightness down for you guys so you could see the color pay off a little bit better. Now just go in and do the same thing on the other eye. And you don't want any harsh lines, so you're just going to continue to blend and blend and blend until it looks soft and blended. Now going back in with the first brush and no additional product, I'm just going to soften that line even more. Then going in with a angled dome brush, I'm going to pick up um, the darker shade in that palette, it's almost like a burgundy brown, and I'm just going to add that into the outer corner to add some more depth to the eye. Using a flat synthetic brush and some MAC Fix Plus, I'm going to spray the brush and pick up the shimmery shadow that we're going to apply all over the lid. And you just want to pack that right on top of the lid. And I'm using padding motions to try and avoid a lot of fallout. Going in with the Sigma brush again with no additional product and just blending in the outer corner and into the crease so there's no harsh lines. Then just check for symmetry. I'm going to zoom you guys back out and go ahead and finish my face. I'm going to apply concealer under the eye. This is NARS Radiant Cream Concealer in the color Custard. I'm going to apply that to my cupid's bow, my chin, and a little bit on the sides of my nose because I get a little bit of red there and in between my eyebrows. <clears throat> Thank you.
Then using a duo fiber brush, I'm just going to buff that out. Now I'm just going in and setting all of the concealer. And now going in and contouring. Since this is um, for like a prom or night out or something like that, I am going to do a kind of heavier contour so that it will show up in pictures. But you still want to make sure that it's blended. Now using MAC Melba, I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks to give it a little bit of color. And use a duo fiber brush to just blend everything together so it's nice and soft. Now I'm going to take a pencil brush from Sigma and apply the same burnt orange color that we used in the crease to the bottom lash line. And with a flat angled brush, I'm just going to take the darker color that we used in the outer corner and smudge that really tight to my lash line. And blend it all out with the same blending brush you use for your crease. Now I'm going to apply some falsies. You want to just let the glue get a little bit tacky and set them on top of your natural lash line and then press the corners in. Um, and then just try and squeeze it as close as you can to your lash line. And I always just take my tweezers and push up against the lash um, so that way they sit up and out instead of straight flat out. Now I'll finish your eyes off with a little bit of mascara. I did not use any eyeliner in this video, but if you would like to use eyeliner, feel free. Now just line your lips. This is Blush from Revlon. Now using Nude from Gerard Cosmetics. And topping it off with Shimmer of Hope. And there you have it, the finished look. for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you'd like to see more like this. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to all your friends and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Hey guys.